Earlier this month, we told you Augustana University is contemplating a switch to Division I athletics. The state currently has two Division I schools, South Dakota State and the University of South Dakota. The move has dramatically changed the campuses in Brookings and Vermilion. In tonight's Eye on Kelloland, Matt Holson shows you how some jackrabbits and coyotes think about the switch and how it's led to improved athletic and academic facilities. South Dakota State senior Sydney Palmer is hoping for another big year of basketball for her Jackrabbit squad. A few years back, when she was a Pierre High School student, there was little doubt where she was going for college. Why am I waiting when I know I'm going to go here already? Like, it's such a great program, it's such a great atmosphere. It doesn't get much better than this, honestly, for women's basketball. South Dakota State is going dancing again. From Summit League championships to trips to the NCAA tournament, she's had a great time in Brookings. While the math major has no idea what she'll do next, she's amazed by changes taking place on campus every year. Even like in the four years I've been here, like the football stadium, the roundabout outside, like the Performing Arts Center has like tripled in size, like the Wellness Center, and like they're going to start redoing Frost soon, our practice facilities, like they're constantly updating and constantly making new buildings on campus, and so it's just, I can't imagine in five more years what it's going to be like and coming back and seeing the progress. It's going to be insane. The Sweet 16 is great. SDSU became a full-fledged Division I member 10 years ago. Athletic Director Justin Sell says the move has upgraded the university on and off the field. I can't imagine that there's any reason that this isn't, hasn't been anything but highly positive. With new athletic and academic facilities coming online regularly, Sell says students across campus are benefiting from the switch, but there's still plenty of work to be done. We've got the practice gyms done. Now we're going to move into uh, renovation of Frost Arena, probably in around the 30 million dollar range uh, and then uh, the expansion of the uh, wrestling uh, practice facility as well so still got a lot of great projects to, to work on and then you know our fundraising and budgets gone from ten and a half million to twenty point five million. State has been able to maintain successful programs at the next level. The goal now is to become a national force. For us we're ten years in and we're saying what's next and what's next is a national championship in football. It's having multiple All-Americans and national champions in wrestling and then and it's winning games in the men's and women's basketball tournament. And if you're able to do that and then do it year after year after year, you're starting to be able to build some different kinds of models. And you've seen that happen at Wichita State or at Butler or Gonzaga. Um, and there's no reason at South Dakota State that we can't be able to uh, rise to that level. And then when you look at the success across the board, I, I feel like we're creating uh, another opportunity for uh, schools to say, hey, I want to be like them. And uh, that gets uh, people pretty excited. Down Interstate 29 in Vermilion, the University of South Dakota continues to develop as well. Senior Maddie Butterfield came here all the way from Kansas City to play soccer and study medical biology. Lots of science and not much free time. Butterfield has benefited from a brand new soccer field during her time on campus. It's a place she sought out because of its majors and Division I status. I think uh, the exposure of being Division I has been excellent for the university, um, as well as for um, not just athletics, but other areas of the university. Um, being able to be Division I has helped things like research and um, just the different arts and sciences departments, um, which has been really cool as a whole university to be able to progress. Coyotes Athletic Director David Herbster says the transition has had its successes and challenges. When USD announced the move in 2006, there were plenty of naysayers. That we wouldn't be competitive anymore. Uh, academics would suffer. We'd bring in bad kids. I mean, there was just, it was the doomsday scenario that I think some people had in their minds. The Coyotes and Jackrabbits each boast grade point averages above 3.2. Right decision to make the jump? Absolutely. It really was. I mean, I look at where the university was, where it is, and what the, what the University of South Dakota is. It's the flagship university of the state. Uh, you, we really would be the only flagship university in the country that was not Division I. Herbster says, like it or not, athletics are the front porch of a university. Going Division I has worked here because the entire campus is sharing in the progress. It's not an automatic fix to enrollment. It's not an automatic fix to en endowments or fundraising. It's not. Overall, it has to be a, there has to be a campus push to improve in all areas and athletics being one of them. Herbster says Division I is institutional. It's a mindset and it really permeates all different levels of campus. When you're able to put your name up on the board for the NCAA men's basketball tournament uh, or in the football uh, championships and, and get to the semifinals or women's basketball eight out of the last ten years, uh, our wrestling program with a national champion, those are all uh, 
chances for us to get exposure we would never be able to probably buy or have in different ways. And then when you have the type of student athlete uh, that we do and how they represent what we're about, it really ends up being a magical story. With Ion Kelloland, I'm Matt Holson. Well, SDSU is busy raising money to renovate Frost Arena, USD's mission right now is to bring in $26 million to rebuild the west side of the Dakota Dome. And 